It's time for a full Olympic weightlifting session. What's up, guys? TJ here, and we're talking you through a full Olympic weightlifting session. Um, this is done before the day before a game of rugby and the day after the birthday session that you saw before. So, a few problems actually ended up occurring. For example, the first problem was me on my warm-up snatches here. I start to lose balance and I get completely off balance and rock back, which for me means I've got to go and do it again. Every time, if in your warm-up sessions or if you're in your warm-up uh, lifts for your sessions, you've got to make sure that you replicate perfect form, exactly what you want to do when you're doing the heavy lifts, because otherwise there's no point. You might as well just skip to the heavy lifts. If you mess up your form on the lighter stuff, that's only going to carry over for the bad technique leading up to the heavier stuff. So you always keep sure or keep making sure that you're dialed in even when you're lifting those light weights. I have heard a phrase from my boy Alex, the obviously the other co-host of the Rugby Muscle podcast and the, he's over at Collision and Combat and he also helps us at Rugby Dump and he says lift your one rep max like a warm up and your warm up like a one rep max and I guess that's a really good saying because you know, when you're warming up, you really want to keep everything tight, find the exact positions and keep explosive as you can. But also, when it gets to your heavy reps, you don't want to just be shouting and yelling and, and just gritting through it, which is quite ironic because today is a day that I actually really struggled with doing these lifts and I had to basically man myself up to it. And you'll see that later in this clip. Uh, there was a bunch of factors that led towards me, you know, not quite performing as I wanted to. One of them definitely being yesterday's bro sesh. Um, there's a reason why I don't train chest as much as I would like to do. And the reason I don't bench as much is because it does really bring tightness in the shoulders. And for someone that's already been tight like myself, it's very difficult for these snatches, as you can see going right overhead, that stretches out that pec muscle. I'm actually pointing to where it says Adidas on my T-shirt. And you can see it stretch out pecs right across there and if you're tight there which I was suffering from doms and stuff you're gonna miss lifts and here we go here's a barrage of a couple miss lifts at 95 kilos which I can on a good day I can power snatch relatively easily so to be missing these lifts is, is no good oh how about that I may only missed one at 95 okay so I missed a couple afterwards so that's a spoiler Man, nailed this 100 quite well happy with the speed and again, you can see my correction from trying to get my body underneath me, but then I got one, stupidly went to 105 even though I've missed and not feeling great. And I got annoyed at myself for missing these a few. You can see me, my feet jump back a wee bit. I can't quite get under that bar. So that was me for snatches. Not a great day at all by any stretch. I mean, I was quite annoyed to be honest. And I, I actually contemplated just going home there because I was just like, this is not going to be working for me. But unfortunately, or well, fortunately for me, I had a client to see straight after this session. So there was no point in going home. So I was like, fuck it, I might as well do my clean and jerks. On the warm ups already, I started to feel really tight. Um, this 110 kilos is like, I mean, my best snatch is 110 kilos, and this today was feeling pretty tough. Uh, the jerks were feeling tough. The, my quads were feeling the effects from still from the rugby training because I'm still not quite used to it. I mean, I'm, and then this is me bailing at 120, which is a, just a pathetic attempt, you know, pathetic effort. And I, this is when I decided that it was time just to man up because I knew I can do it. I know I can do 120, 130 quite easily. So I pushed through, the jerk wasn't quite right. Again, I'm blaming the arm doms and the, sh and the chest doms for this, but really I should be performing better. But anyway, I got through it, so this just demonstrates to me how important it is to start the session as best prepared as you can. I didn't sleep as well as I should. I didn't get my nutrition on point like I should. But eventually I, I manned up and got it through. So, you know, there's a couple lessons to be learned. You know, I can man up, get through it, and I'm, I've got my, my strength level is decent enough. But the better prepared I am, the better I'm going to perform. And that's the lesson that I suppose we can get from this video. If you'd like to give a like, give a comment below and subscribe. Cheers.